What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of the Worth It series. So today we're going to be checking out some of the new weapons and seeing how they compare together. But before I get into that, uh, I just want to say that when I'm uploading this on the 26th, the Friday, we are having double Boss Invasion weekend. So uh, whenever you do Boss Invasion, you get double the rewards and that'll be for this weekend only. So definitely come check it out. Uh, we also have double experience on because it is the last weekend, uh, or last, yeah, it is the last weekend of the month. And that's how we uh, determine double experience. Um, and then tomorrow, Saturday, the 27th, around 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, we will be doing a live coding stream. So please come check those out if you're interested. Um, but let's get into the video. So what we're going to be doing is testing out five weapons. We're going to be testing out the Xerosian Scythe, the normal Rapier. Well, it's technically augmented because that's the best version of it, but augmented Rapier. We have the Scythe of Vitter, the new one. We have the Garazi Rapier, the new Rapier. And then we have the Juggernaut. So we're testing those five weapons. We have uh, a variant defender as the offhand for this. I'm going to do one run with the apex shield for each of the weapons that are uh, one-handed, just so we can sort of get a kind of number on, on how the differences um, between the Avernic defender and the apex shield are. Now, obviously, the apex shield has better defense and better luck boost, but um, the best the best possible strength bonus and I believe offensive stats are better too is the Avernic defender. So it is best in slot. And um, there's been a lot of confusion over the Garazi Rapier, which is something that I was confused of. Uh, people determined that it was going to be trash before anyone even obtained it because based, because of its stats. That was the logic. But I want to prove why that's dumb. For example, we have the Rapier here, which has completely got off stats. And I know what you're going to say. The speed. That's true. You have the Juggernaut has you know 60 slash, 72 strength. But then look at the Rapier. 94 stab 89 strength it's got the best in, it's got the best stats for any sing, um single slot weapon uh excluding the elven battle axe so i don't think the stats like i don't understand the complaint with them they are best in slot so we'll see what it, we'll see how it works we'll see how it goes we do have a lot of things to test i'm going to be doing three runs for every single weapon and then like i said i will be using two runs with defender and one with apex shield um, just to sort of, I mean, these, I know these are small sample sizes, so if you're really going to do real good testing, this isn't, this isn't so much of that video. This is just to sort of get base numbers and get a base opinion on what we think about these weapons. And then if any changes need to be made, we can use this video as a base point to talk about it. So we will be killing only the first boss, the jungle demon. We will be timing it. Um, the scythe of Vitter, if you didn't know, doesn't have the 3x hit thing where um, it's big against big monsters. Uh, what we decided to do with it, since it didn't have that, um, and it doesn't have that yet, I would like to point out. If if we can ever get that functioning, that, that would be the, the optimal goal. But until we get that, what it has right now is a damage boost on large monsters. And in the boss invasion, the only two monsters that are considered large are the first one, the jungle demon, and then the fifth one, the vanguard. So we will have the damage boost from that. Um, just just keep that in the back of your mind. That it is going to be especially good against this monster compared to other monsters that weren't big. But that is a, that is one of its good selling points is that it does have that boost, and that's probably the only thing that could make it better. So uh, without further ado, without talking, let's uh, let's get these numbers going. Also, would like to point out a few things that even though this boss is weak to stab, um, it's always best to use the preferred style of your weapon. So for example, if you have a weapon with 100 slash bonus and 10 stab bonus and the monster is weak to stab just use slash the slash bonus is going to be way better than the stab bonus would be even with the weakness so we will be using the preferred style for each weapon so some of the rapiers will have an advantage but that's just a part of it uh, we will be using one sip of the Slushka shadow per kill and i'm not going to be using any special attacks uh, so this is just pure weapon power since I don't die or take damage, uh, real damage anyways, I won't be eating food, so you will have to keep in mind that accurate runs would always be slower just because you're accounting for eating potions and, uh, you know, sipping potions and eating food and whatnot, but we're not having to do that. So these are just straight numbers, haven't touched a thing, we, we did our one sip and we are, uh, we're, we're going full speed ahead. Also, if you're wondering why I'm not ch uh, trying the uh, arc light, it's because the arc light is only good against demons. And there's so few important demons that I don't think it's really worth testing. Um, in my experience, it's good to have, but I feel like um, a lot of these weapons will probably beat it. So um, that's just why I'm not testing that. I'm only testing these main five power weapons. All right, so this is the first time we're actually testing the rapier. I figure I'll show you a little bit. 
of what it looks like and sort of just kind of how it feels. Uh, I'll also do the same when we test out the scythe, just because those are the two new weapons and the main focal point of the video. Um, I'll, I'll get it. I'll have nice little graphics to show all the information, and I'll have that towards the end. But uh, so far, the testing has been pretty interesting. It's been what I've expected so far. So we'll see once we get to these new weapons. I haven't done either of them yet. So. Okay, so this is our first look at the scythe. And again, the main thing you should focus on is the damage boost. Um, and this is one of the monsters that uh, it applies to. So I'm just going to show a couple of bits of footage of how it looks, how it kind of handles. Considering this monster is weak to stab, it, that there is sort of a downside using a slash weapon. But maybe the damage boost from it, uh, you know, would make it better. So, uh, yeah. I'll be back with the results. Okay, so I have made this nice little graphic. It has all of the information. We will sort of go over it. So we started off with the rapier. The uh, times are 138, 142, 145. We have the juggernaut at 225, 152, 213. We have the Grazi rapier, 148, 203, 215. We have the Zerosian scythe, 219, 217, 210. And then we have the Scythe of Vetter, 231, 229, and then one really slow one where we just couldn't hit anything, 312. Uh, so the fastest time out of all of them was the normal rapier at 138. Um, and then the slowest time, obviously, was the Zerosian Scythe with the 212 time. And uh, even if it wasn't, it did register three of the slowest times. So I've been thinking about this a lot. I like, the, I like doing these videos because it really gives you an idea of the weapons and everything. You really learn a lot. I know it is just a small sample size of three. Um, an important thing to remember with the server like Revival, or at least the way we've done it so far, there's a lot of things that are useful in a lot of different areas. There's a lot of variables that are going to go into testing weapons. So it's not always as straightforward as saying the rapier is the best weapon. Uh, it did win these results. It is the best weapon for that situation, the Jungle Demon. Um, it was interesting that, uh, I mean, the, the, a couple takeaways I got from it was that one, stab defense is definitely a real thing. It is weak to stab, and you can notice the difference between the rapier and the juggernaut. The rapier is best time, 138, and then the juggernaut had 152, which was a pretty good run, especially in comparison to these. Um, and then the rapier, uh, again, uh, it seems like the first run was often the best run. Uh, it got progressively worse. I don't know why. I didn't do anything different, and I made sure to, to, to pay attention and you know do everything that I said I would do in terms of clicking the potion one time and starting the clock on time and all of that. So I, I think that using a stab weapon for a boss that's weak to stab makes the most sense. It definitely seems to that the stab defense is uh, coming into there, coming into play. Now the the, the two that really um, interest me is the rapier and the juggernaut because those are the ones where you. You, you wonder, you, you, you wonder what would be better. And obviously based on these numbers, the rapier would be better because of stab. But it could be completely different if you were to do a slash monster. Um, the Scythe of Vitter has the damage boost, but again, it really didn't make a much of a difference because it just wasn't weak to, it wasn't weak to uh, slash, and then you lack a shield. Uh, the third run is the one with the apex shield. Um, and if you look at the times, it seems like in pretty much every instance, the Apex Shield did worse. There's this one here where it did beat out the first time, but then the second time smoked it. Um, and then right here, both the first times were faster. This one, it actually was, well, I mean, <laughs> I, I guess these two don't count because they don't have it, right? But uh, yeah, I mean, it, it, it definitely seems like the def they're very close. And that would make sense because if you look at the difference in stats, it isn't a whole lot, uh, at least in, in offensive firepower. So you have... 8 strength bonus, 30, 29, and 28, and then for the Apex you have 10, 10, 10, 10, and then 7. So, um, I mean, the, you can tell the accuracy, I think that was the biggest drop off from switching to these weapons was just the accuracy. Um, the speed on the Scythe is kind of what kept it in play, but I, don't, I think if it had the same speed as the Scythe of Itter, or even just one tick slower, uh, it, would, it would not have done well. Uh, let me get I should have probably marked down the speeds because that is relative information. Um, and the main thing we have testing with this is DPS, but I feel like DPS is a really good indicator of, uh, of what you're trying to accomplish, right? Because uh, if you start talking about longevity of bosses and stuff like that, you get into so many, like I said, there's just so many different variables that can go into testing that if you really want to nitpick or, or, or pick and choose, you could always go different routes. You could argue that because this monster was weak to stab, the rapier had a nice boost, but I mean, the Grazi rapier is also stabbed, so 
um, you know, I, 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 you can you can tell the accuracy boost. I just, I, I don't know. I don't know. And I'm not sure what the best way to improve these weapons is because uh, I like the I, I like I like the fact that revival does have those niche bosses, those niche uses. There's a lot of things where you want to use one thing over another. I, I, as I mentioned earlier, the arc light is a pretty decent weapon. I, I should have done one just to kind of see. I don't think it would have beat any of these times. I think it would have just kind of floated around the middle. That's why I never tested it in the first place. But um, the key of, to improving these weapons is figuring out how we want to improve them. You know what? What? What is? What is the goal? What is? What is the niche that they're they're, they're supposed to fit? Right. So that's where we got to figure out what changes need to be made. So the Scythe of Vitter is um, five, right? So five is the speed number, and it's. I, I think if, if I'm not mistaken, it's kind of different from from the wiki. If you look at the wiki, it'll say six, but it means like six in terms. It's kind of hard to explain. They're basically reversed. Let me let me show you. Never mind. I think I'm stupid. Never mind. I guess they are the same. I guess they are the same. I thought that they were different. I thought it was like the other way around, where six second. I guess I'm just getting confused by the the ticks. I always get confused by that, but um, I guess they are the same. So I I can just give you the numbers and you can use that information, which you. You know, however you want to. So the scythe of vitter is a five. The scythe, uh, the Zerosian scythe, is a three. The juggernaut is a three. I believe rapier is a two. It is a two, and then you have the uh, the, the grazi rapier, which is a four. I don't know. See, it's it's interesting because I don't know. How, I really don't know how I want to improve them. I know that they need to be improved. I think they both need to be improved. I'm just not sure what I want to do if it's in terms of just boosting their stats. Um, I, I really don't know. So if you have any opinions, any suggestions, I will happily take them. I, I think that this is definitely a group discussion. Your input is very valuable. So if you have any input, please do. I, I can think that the I think the accuracy was definitely an issue with the uh, scythe. You could see the damage boost. Like I would hit 80s and 70s, but then it would be followed by zero, zero, zero. I think one good thing about its ability, if I'm not mistaken, it was it was based off of the, the like the damage was rolled. So for example, if you hit a 40 on a monster where you were supposed to get the 3x hits, I think the next hit was 20, and the next hit was 10. Isn't that how is that how it works? Let me try to get it to the wiki. And and that's that's awesome because that that I mean that makes your your guaranteed hits basically. If you hit the, if what, what if, if you know if we hit that 80, and uh, I mean I, we wouldn't hit 80 because obviously its damage is would be different, but. So, you know, let's just the forty example was a pretty good one. Let me see the second one. Right, so the first hit deals one hundred percent damage. The second fifty, and then so I think that that's really the, the the issue we have is that it's not as accurate as it should be given that a special attack. So the damage boost we have isn't good enough. It's not good enough to outweigh the lack of accuracy. It was very noticeable. Slow times. Um, you can see the inconsistency where we just out of nowhere got three minutes because we got low rolls. And you can tell that you can tell the inconsistencies with slash weapons in general, like where we had the 152 time, but then we also had a 225. And these times were pretty comparable, but they're still slower. And it is a nine set, you know. I mean, like you could definitely tell the difference. So, I think the the two things I would like to improve on would be the accuracy for both weapons. I think the rapier was different. I think that its its main setback was just the speed. It just gets outclassed by the juggernaut and the rapier speed. So. I think maybe it should be a question of, is speed something we should look at? Should that be something that's nerfed, possibly? Um, because we could get to the point where if we make this weapon, um, if we keep making every weapon like the same speed or even slower or faster, you know, you're going to get to... Power creep is a real thing, and I would argue we're probably already past the point where we need to be concerned. So changes like this could be done. Um, I don't, I, you know, I don't like to do things based on like nothing you know what i mean i don't run a rush into decisions i like to know the a lot of the information before i make my decision and i like to think about things so we're not going to rush into anything we're going to figure it out we'll get we'll get them i'd rather them be like perfect over a, a longer period of time than just keep rushing out a bunch of different shenanigans um we couldn't you know in, if you have any suggestions <laughs> again you can contribute them but i think that the accuracy is the main thing i would look at for now i would say rocky rapier you don't have a rapier, I would probably use the other rapier. If you don't have that rapier, then I would I would think Arclight would be Juggernaut. Um, and again, we could test that other monsters that don't have uh, a specific weakness, one that has the same stab and slash difference. But again, you're just going to be nitpicking, and there's so many different situations that it just it's not really worth it to test. 
I think that, um, I, you know, that's why I chose Jungle Demon, because that's a real monster that people are going to want to do. It's a real monster that you can test. Like, if we did a test at Giant Mole, or I know one I test a lot is Giant Rock Crab, just because it's easy to get to and it's easy to do. But, you know, who actually kills them? Who cares? You know, who, these are real numbers for a real boss that's kind of important. So that's why I chose the DDs. Um, so, yeah, in conclusion, are they worth it? No, not yet. They're definitely not worth it in terms of how rare they are um, based on how useful they are. But, but yeah, that'll do it for me. Thanks for watching. And, again, if you have any suggestions, any comments, please do. Please post them. This is uh, a give and take. You know, we're going we're gonna to work on it together and get it perfect.